as we had an opportunity to speak recently with Caleb Lohner, the swag master of BYU basketball. He joined us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Caleb, your fashion sense has received a lot of attention, understandably so. Have you solidified yourself, even as a freshman, as this BYU basketball team's fashion guru? Um, I mean, I think so, a little bit. <laughs> um, not on purpose, but, I mean, that's just kind of what I do and what I wear. Like, I, I enjoy dressing up in certain ways, and, yeah, it's been fun. How would you describe your fashion style? If someone says, what's your style? How would you say, what would you say? Um, I kind of like, I kind of like the older sense of fashion. And when I say that, I mean like 90s grunge, hip hop. I like baggy clothes, um, cool like graphic tees, um, band t-shirts. Um, I love hats. But I kind of just throw anything together and wear it, um, like any cool color combination with a cool pair of shoes, anything that looks good. Um, but I would say it's pretty sporadic. I'm kind of all over the place, but I do enjoy wearing cool stuff. We can get on board for that, and your Nirvana T-shirt is certainly doubling down on your fashion sense right now. Caleb Lohner is with us on BYU Sports Nation. BYU basketball under Mark Pope has never lost back-to-back -back games. Of course, you're coming off a significant loss to Gonzaga. You're at St. Mary's, then at San Francisco. What'd you learn about your team in that tough Gonzaga game? Um, you know, I was really proud of our guys, and how we just kept fighting. I think we started off the wrong way. Um, there were certain things we could have done better. Like, we've been over all of it. All of us know, like, what we need to do. But I would say, I think, if anything, a lot of the times when you lose big games like that, your team can kind of pull apart. And I've been really proud of the way we've kind of come together. We've been going over things, watching film, fixing stuff in practice, and we'll be ready to go on Thursday. You know, outside, Caleb, of the, the first couple of minutes, you guys had some stretches where you played really, really well. What are some things that you can build off of in that game during those stretches moving forward? Um, I think what we realized is sticking to what we do and what we practice and our basic principles is how we are a good team. And so I think there's a few times in the game we kind of went away from some of that, um, started kind of trying to do our own thing maybe. But I think what we learned and what we understand is if we stick with what we do, um, what we know how to do and what we're familiar with and how we play BYU basketball, then we're going to be all right. Caleb, on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you that you are going to play two games this week based on what's happened uh, early in the West Coast Conference campaign? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident. <laughs> but again, we just have no idea, which sucks. But it's just part of this uh, game this year and how COVID's affected basketball. But we're going to be ready no matter what and keep having fun and keep playing this game. You know, I was actually talking with Coach mm -hmm. Fieger about that very thing before the Gonzaga game. And, and I'm curious, as a player, take me through what that's like, because all you can do is prepare for the games. You can't control whether uh, or not they're played or not. So in terms of the preparation, yeah. I've got to imagine it, it, that part doesn't change. But what's it like to live through this where sometimes you're in the middle of a flight and you find out that you're not going to be able to play? What's that like to go through? It's weird, honestly, like... We were, yeah, we were on a plane. Coach got a phone call and we turned around. Like, you would never, ever expect that. But, again, it's just part of it. We spent last week preparing uh, and a week before preparing for two games that both got canceled. We spent four or five days preparing for one game and then a few days after that preparing for the next game. They ended up both getting canceled and we had to kind of switch our minds and move on. How much of a rust factor was involved when you took the floor finally against Gonzaga? Um, I think maybe a little bit. Like, we hadn't played since, I think, the 22nd. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's just something that we got to figure out how to adapt to because it could happen again. We don't know. It's just kind of how things are. And so, yeah. What's been the focus this week as you guys prepare for a big road game at Moraga against St. Mary's? 
Um, just doing what we do, playing BYU basketball, moving the ball, rebounding, playing defense, um, kind of all the principles that we um, that we go over all year, kind of the core of what we call BYU basketball. And so, like, we've been watching film, we've been practicing. It's been really competitive. We've been going against each other, and it's been really good. I think we're going to be ready for these games. Have your teammates explained to you the discord and dislike that BYU basketball fans have for St. Mary's? <laughs> yeah, they have. Uh, so this will be a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, it's great to talk with you, man. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for the games against St. Mary's in San Francisco. Keep it up with the fashion sense, too, brother. Appreciate it. Caleb Lohner on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how.